Good evening everybody, it's Storm here bring you a very interesting video. And boy, oh boy, it's been a very interesting day. And you may not know what I'm talking about, this happened earlier today, but unfortunately I was at work so I couldn't really catch the big news that happened. But the news that I am talking about is the CMA have chosen to block Xbox purchase of Activision Blizzard. If you haven't, if you don't know uh, about that deal, I believe it was last year or the year before uh, Microsoft came out and said they were buying Activision Blizzard for $70 billion, which is the biggest which is the biggest purchase of a company ever for what people say is the biggest purchase ever so there had been a lot of back and forth uh, about this deal some people like it some people don't uh, the biggest people that did not like the idea of this is sony which say what you want about jim ryan he's the ceo of sony say what you want about him crying but looking from the from an outside perspective and not a fanboy it's business because when it comes to call of duty overall revenue and the player base is is mostly come from well sony makes a lot of money when it comes to cod especially the marketing deal that they have with them exclusive skins Overall, Sony make a lot of money off of COD. So the fact that Microsoft was planning on buying, um, buying them, and the revenue will most likely go to Microsoft instead, Sony uh, was not. Jim Ryan basically wasn't about that. And it doesn't matter if he came off as crying, what people would say, crying, complaining and all that jazz, it's, it's a business. He would not be doing his job if he would just let this deal go by, obviously. Anybody would. So, uh, for over a year and a couple of months, it's been like, it's been a back and forth of what's been going on, like where the deal's gonna go. I, me personally, I don't really care for the deal because I don't really play Activision Blizzard games all that much. At most, you probably, at most, I'll probably play like COD. I did play Overwatch for a little bit, but eh, I just, I dropped it. It, it wasn't enough to have me keep playing, but I still play COD here and there if. If I'm in the mood just to play a multiplayer game that's not Destiny. So, um, but a couple, I think it was like a week or like a month ago that the CMA did change their stance when it came to the, to the bio about saying that Activision, Xbox buying Microsoft, Microsoft buying the Activision Blizzard did not hurt the console. That what they said. So a lot of people saw that, and they assumed the deal was gonna go through. But around, well, earlier this morning when I woke up and went up on Twitter, I saw that the CMA had blocked it for a reason was for they want they didn't want Microsoft to have a leg up in the cloud gaming division. And I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was like a very odd reason for it and I think a lot of people says like this the reasoning doesn't make any sense uh, to some extent I could probably see what they mean probably like I think how I see it is like for future proofing that nobody would not have like a head a leg up on other competitors when it comes to the cloud gaming cert uh, gaming so and w when the CMA the CMA is in the UK so basically the UK did not find this deal very uh, gamer friendly and stuff so 
But the interesting thing is Microsoft is planning to plea uh, this decision to hopefully to get a reverse. Which to my disappointment, we got to keep we got to hear this whole crap again. Which some people saw that this could this whole uh, plea thing that uh, um I don't know if it's plea basically uh to reverse the decision could possibly take up three years if it goes that far and I'm I'm at this point I don't think anybody should care about this honestly because this is just a big this is just a big waste of time when it comes to Microsoft decision and to be honest in my in my opinion they could put that 70 billion dollars into the others into other things like they already got 23 studios I would put that money towards them instead of this whole Activision Blizzard deal and the reason I'm bringing I'm bringing this up you know I personally don't really care for the deal and stuff it just for me it's just entertainment when I see people fight each other on Twitter because that that is comedy to me so I did saw certain people did say uh, watch out for tomorrow tomorrow's gonna be very gonna be very funny basically it's gonna be comedy what's gonna happen tomorrow which is Wednesday that's today which passed uh, by the time of this recording and it didn't go the way they planned they thought the CMA was going to approve the deal turns out they like no we're not approving this so the question is what's Microsoft going to do now of course they are now planning to overturn that decision but until they get to that point what are they going to do now? Because in my opinion, they had high hopes up for this Activision Blizzard deal to go through because uh, I can't remember why I saw some people said this, but apparently Microsoft was, av like, was advertising the Call of Duty and Activision Blizzard uh, buyout and so. So the fact that they were advertising the buyout and the bio didn't go through it just like not a good look not a good look at all i i will post a link to the articles uh for the decision why the cma did it because i saw some people people say oh they were talking about uh the cloud um the cloud gaming and stuff because I guess they see that it could cloud gaming will become will become the next big thing at some point in the future. There's no doubt about that. But at the but as of right now, we're not there yet, especially in America. But yeah, that's what I see is future proofing for what they're saying. And they also did say an, another reason for their decision was Microsoft didn't show no proof that COD could uh, technically could not run on a Nintendo Switch. And I did some people I did saw some people say they could do COD Mobile on the Switch. But the thing is, when it comes to Microsoft, they they said that the version the version of COD that's that's on the xbox that's on playstation that's on pc that version could would will be running on the switch but the thing is the switch how the switch is right now is it, it will not run call of duty at the best way it could be especially for a first person shooter like when it comes to racing games sports games and fighting games and first person shooters uh, those games need to be at 60 FPS 
with no question asked, period. It cannot be less than 60 or else you're in for a rude awakening. So for the CMA, they did, they did not see proof that Kyle could run on the Nintendo Switch. And Microsoft could, Microsoft could say whatever they want that they said we have a 10 year we have a 10 year deal to put COD on Switch. That may sound a lot. That sounds like a very long time for a normal person. But when it comes to the gaming and stuff, that that is not a long that's not a long period of time. Especially game development. Because a game development could probably take from like three to five three to five years depending the scale of the game what kind of game it is and stuff like the shortest game development i ever saw was uh kojima making death stranding and that took three years but an average game could take to five to six years like shoot even Right, uh, shoot, Dead Island 2. Alright, let's say Dead Island 2, for example. Dead Island 2 took nine years, like basically nine years for it to come out. That took nine years. And you and you just really think about it. That nine years, that could that could be nine years for for a development of COD to come out on the Switch. Oh, COD finally comes out to the Switch. So it only took nine years, and now you'll now you'll have a one year left deal to have COD come to the Switch. That could potentially happen. Not say it will, but that that is a potential outcome uh, of it happening. So Microsoft and Activision Blizzard could go to the drama more to see if they could appease the CMA, but. It's not only them now that they have the they have the FTC and uh, there's another uh, another group I think it I think it's the EU yeah so basically those three I, I think Microsoft need two out of three of the decisions or yeah they are, Microsoft can either get all three of them to agree or get two out of three. So far, the CMA, uh, CMA said no, and the FTC is already on the scale of the FTC and the EU already raised concerns about this whole deal already. So it's possible they might agree with the CMA, but we don't know about that yet. Uh, I think the next decision, I don't know when the next decision, like the next decision on if the deal will go through or not, but if the FTC or the EU agree, agree to also block the deal, then Microsoft should just give up on buying it. And I think the real problem, the real problem when it comes to this, Microsoft tried to do too much at once. I truly believe they try to do just way too much than than they need to. Because I like think about it like this. Alright, they they have their consoles. They now do put their games day one on PC with Game Pass. Now they got the X Cloud. Now they're trying to go on to mobile devices. Like instead of focusing on one thing and make sure that's that's stable enough that you don't need to constantly keep looking at it they try to do everything all at the same time like like look at their studios for example like they bought all these studios but they're trying to buy more in my opinion they should have never went after the activision blizzard deal after buying bethesda and xenomax they should have went they should have done a smaller studio buy then just slowly work on it until they eventually get to Activision Blizzard. Granted, you could say that uh, they came to Microsoft. 
which is that which is true and stuff but the thing is that the fact that the studios that they have now are struggling when it comes to game development because uh, look at Halo Infinite that thing came out hella bad well not really hella bad it didn't have the content and stuff but the, but the fact that it took four to six months for content to drop and the fact they canceled they canceled so uh, they I think it was co-op split screen they canceled that and forge took a hell of a long time to come out and I ha I don't see anybody even talk about Halo Infinite at this point um, you got Redfall that had a whole that had a whole year delay and they only releasing the red uh releasing it with quality mode so that game is running at 30 fps which i agree with everybody else what how that game is looking does does not it does not qualify that it there should it should be 60 fps on that game because that game is not like it's not like a god of war or a forza that is graphically demanding that it cannot do 60. they said 60 gonna come later which means they're rushing to put this game out to meet their deadline and a whole bunch of other stuff going on redfall i think it was like uh i forgot what it's called but it's they have this thing that when you're in when somebody hosted a game and stuff like your progress don't carry your progress doesn't carry the same time as the host so once you leave their world you have to i believe it was you have to redo the mission whatever part you didn't do in your world even though you passed it when you was playing with the host and what other thing I think it was the always online thing that people had a problem with, which they're still working on. No update on that. And I think there was another problem that people were having with Redfall. Was it De Novo? It's, it's something involved with some PC problem. I can't remember what it was. But yeah, Redfall and is also and Redfall launching between Jedi Survivor and Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. If uh, I'll be I would not be surprised if they did not if they if they just decide to send this game to die just so it could go out. So now that Redfall is gonna be 30 FPS, now the question is is Starfield is gonna be 30 FPS when that with that launch? Like I'll be surprised if it has if it'll be if it will have a 60 FPS mode. But the fact that it just bad news it's been bad news for almost like two weeks now for Microsoft. Uh Ghostwire Tokyo looking looking bad. This whole thing with Redfall. Um their their financial reports that came out yesterday are pretty bad when it comes to their hardware and stuff and now this whole thing with the cma blocking it is it is really bad like hopefully time ho hopefully time will tell that the they'll make a comeback for this but i honestly don't know like so far we just have to wait and see uh one thing i did saw that was funny people would say like uh, what would happen if now that Microsoft got this bad news when it comes to the CMA PlayStation out of nowhere just dropped their showcase their supposed showcase that's happening this year to show off phase 2 of the PS5 that'd be that'd be wild if, if that ever happened so there's my take on the whole CMA decision to bought the Microsoft deal. I'm kind of surprised I talked this long. I was looking kind of rambling at some point. 
but overall I don't really care for the deal itself but it is a really bad setback for Microsoft at this point and we just have to wait and see what they got to overcome this if, because if their if their request to reverse the decision is denied it will be an interesting what's Microsoft is like what is Microsoft backup plan because it looks like they put majority of their eggs in this basket for this deal to go through and this is a really bad setback for them well I hope you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe to the video for more uh, this week I will be doing the complete walkthrough of Giant Survivor when that come out and I hope you guys are looking forward to that I'll catch you guys in the next video have a good night peace out